Hi guys, and here is another paranormal video. And this one, I think by far is the, probably the scariest one to me, I feel, because this one had to do with my son. And it scared the ever living shit out of me because I don't know what it is because kids are like so innocent and everything that they tell you something. And like my son's not very, he's a creative person and all that, but he's not like imaginary friend type and, and liar type. Like he's very honest. I don't have a doubt in my mind that this stuff happened. And I am terrified to my core that it did. And I'm thankful so much that I listened to my mother because like I've said in other videos she's very good at knowing how to cross over things get rid of bad things or get them to subside or how to you know do with it and what I wound up doing is doing a St. Michael prayer like over and over like it took like maybe an hour of doing multiple types of prayers with the archangels calling upon them for help and using frankincense and using sage to get this thing to go away and stop affecting my son. So let me go back and letting you know what the hell this is about. So my son, when he was like younger, probably this happened about, I've been here about four years now. So this probably happened more like about two or so years ago. And even like um, one of my best friends, she lived upstairs. She doesn't any longer, but um, I told her about this and she came downstairs and she was totally freaked out too. Cause she knows how my son is. He was telling me like when I would have my thing like cleaning up or in my, I would be in my bedroom like putting away laundry, he'd be in the living room, he'd be coloring, drawing, watching his cartoons, playing with his toys, doing his thing. I mean we're in a very small apartment, he's like just right there. I can hear him if there's anything. He'd come in here if he needs anything. I'm, um, he did some drawings first that kind of got me to ask some questions that kind of led to the story that I found out about. He was drawing these pictures that were not the normal of what he normally drew and they were very very creepy and I wish I could find them. I think I destroyed them because they scared me so much and I didn't want any type of reminder and I just wanted them the fuck out of my house because they creeped me out so bad but it's like something like out of the ring or it's, it's why is it with kids it just scares you so much more. But he had these drawings that were all black with like uh, crayon, except for like these faces with just big mouth teeth. And maybe like teeny little eyes, no nose or nothing, but just big teeth. And everything else was all black. And it was just creepier than hell. Sorry, I got distracted there for a minute because I'm in front of my window. So anyway, um, and my son had told me basically that what had happened is, is that he was getting visited whenever I was not in the room or I was like whatever not near him he was getting visited by this wolf that he was playing with or dog thing I'm thinking like a hellhound type thing because it doesn't sound good to me and a man without a face now kids seem like they accept things a little bit more and that's why they don't get too Afraid, and I didn't want him to get too afraid of this so I just kind of was asking him questions I wish I remembered how I went about it because I was just asking him questions and then like yeah honey yeah really like tell me more about your friend you know type of thing trying to not alarm him that this is scary and you know making him scared and it pricks my heart now because now he's always scared he says he's always hearing growling in his room he's and I'm constantly saging and smudging that room I'm constantly trying to cleanse that room I even feel like there's times where I don't even feel safe with him alone in that room that I take him out and I put him in my bed with me because I just don't feel like I want him alone in that room. And I don't think it's specifically his room because it used to be more my room, but it seems like it's moved more towards his room now lately. But anyway, going back, he said one time, I don't know what I was doing, but I wasn't, you know, um, right there. I must have been like in my room doing something or like in the kitchen or something, but he said that it was in his room and it had gone through the wall like a portal and it was trying to beckon him like he didn't say beckon but like that's what my word is trying to like you know get him to come like come play come play with us you know you, you can just leave for a little while and come back thank god who knows what happened who knows i mean nothing might have happened at all but my son you know said no no, no i'm not going anywhere without my mommy 
you know, I've told him always about stranger danger and all this stuff. You know, why are you talking to some fucking spirit demon thing? Whatever the hell this thing is. This man with no fucking face in my house and drawing these demonic pictures. And then this wolf type thing, dog, black thing. He said that he would play with it in the living room. And I'm like, a dog? We don't have a dog. Like, he would talk about this dog. And I didn't know what the hell he was talking about. We have no animals at all in this house. None. And it's weird now because he's terrified of big dogs now. And I don't know if this is them from the two years ago, because now he's five. This was like, you know, about when he was like three and a half, you know, um, maybe like two and a half, three, around that time, a little bit younger. And, um, oh my God, it just terrifies me to think like, what if there was like some portal that they went into and they were trying to take my son with them? Like, or what the hell were they trying to do? Like befriend my son? Like, you know how like, those are stories where like they have imaginary friends and they're like spirits and they try to befriend the kids and then it turns into something bad and dangerous down the line it just really it seems really unreal to me even as i tell the story and you can believe what you want it's fine I, i'm just going to tell these stories as if you do you do because it's up to you it's it's your interpretation of whatever but Please let me know if you've ever had an experience like this, if you have children or nephews or sisters, brothers, anything, you know, with younger children that you've had around that have ever had some weird experience with like an imaginary friend that wasn't like imaginary in a good way, but a bad way. And since nothing's happened, it kind of like seemed like it kind of weaned off and went away. Um, he just started talking less and less about it. And I just maintain like checking on him a lot more frequently like he would just be so good like by himself like he would I mean I could literally just be in this room and like fold in laundry for an hour and he would still be in the same spot not getting into anything he's just such a good kid so I wouldn't really have to worry about checking on him that much and he would always come see me if he needed something and I could just holler you know really loud and just through the you know my door and be like hey you know what's up and we would play a game for a little while we were doing Marco Polo I go Marco he go Polo back you know just so I know everything's all right you know he's still breathing he's alive yeah he's fine it, you know but he'd be just coloring or you know taking a nap or something in the other room and I assumed he's all right or he'd be playing in his bedroom and I assumed he would be okay and I'd be out in the living room or something thinking all right he's just playing in his room doing whatever and here he is he's playing with some fucking demon wolf and some man without a face like not exactly what you're expecting so this is a shorter little story time paranormal story time but this was the experience with my son and his little imaginary friend that was really scary and thank god this whole thing went away i'm hoping to have nothing like this ever happen again and i hope that whatever is in this home i thought i saw something else before my eye i'm sorry it's probably just me thinking of this stuff um, but anyway, if you have ever experienced anything like this, please let me know in the comments below and uh, I would love to hear your stories. Um, again, I have some more paranormal videos to post up and I'll have them up as soon as I can. So thank you again for coming by and watching my video. Thank you.